you guys, my quarantine hair was getting out of control. So I decided to cut it myself, which I have been doing for years. And I dyed it at home for $13. This is a video about valuable skills. The most valuable lesson I ever learned in my life was how to cut my own hair. But if you do it and it goes wrong, don't blame me. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to The Flo Show. If you're new here, I'm Flo. If you are here for curvy fashion, give this video a thumbs up. And while you're at it, right underneath that is the subscribe button. So you may as well do it at the same time. Since my last DIY summer clothing haul went over so well, I decided to do a part two with all the new looks that I have DIY'd. As a curvy girl, sewing is literally one of the most useful skills that I've ever learned. It allows me to like tailor clothes perfectly to my body the way that I want them. And as you'll see, I barely do that much to <laughs> alter them, but it saves me so much money. I. I can't even tell you. I don't think I've bought clothes since the fall. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I literally have not bought any new clothes in 2020. Nothing new. Which might have you wondering, why haven't I bought anything from Fashion Nova in so long? Let me tell you, I'm doing a brand new video all about why I no longer shop at Fashion Nova. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss it. Let's get started. This is a dress that I've had for years. Like it's cute, but it's not that cute. It's a size extra small from Forever 21. So it was like a miracle that I can squeeze my fat butt into it, but <laughs> no pun intended. Um, it just like, I never really wore it as a dress. I usually would tuck up the bottom of it to make it a crop top look anyway. So I never really utilized it as this dress. So I ended up just cutting the dress like literally in the middle so that now I have a super cute, just like off the shoulder little crop top. And then I also have just a plain tube top so it doesn't have the the top part to it. So I have one that has a ruffle and one that's just plain. And then this is just the bottom half of the dress. So two super easy looks. They're both cute. I like that this one's a little bit longer. I can tuck it in. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought they were both super cute for the summer. Two uses instead of like one that I don't use that much which is better. As you all know, I'm a huge fan of crop tops. So I've been cutting every single tank top that I have into a crop top. So this was just one of those like long tank top that wasn't really doing anything. So I cut it way cuter for the summer. Bam, easy. So this was a regular top. I got this at Value Village or somewhere thrifty. And I think it's just like a large shirt. I cut up the seams because the shirt part, well, you'll see. It's a little bit long, so I used to wear it as a top, but then I thought this would be way cuter as a cover-up. But it didn't fit over my hips before, but now da -da, it does. And it's almost like a dress length. Perfect for going down to the water, down to a pool. I thought maybe it would be cute to open this up and put like a drawstring or something, like a black string. I don't know. It was like destined to be a little pool top. Mm, super cute. So with this top, it was just kind of like a plain snakeskin top, but it was a little bit boring. Sorry, Joe Fresh, I love you, but it was a little bit dull. So um, I just cut a slit up the bell sleeves. This bell sleeves weren't like belly enough, if you know what I mean. Then I cut the collar off. So as you can see, you can have a normal parent appropriate shirt. <laughs> Why would you? But if you need it, I can just wear it like this. Um, so I just cut off the collar piece and I can use that to tie it up if I want to. So that it kind of looks like one of those little drawstring tops that you see everywhere. You know what I mean? Two ways to wear it. Ta-da! I thought it was cute. This one is probably the one that I did the most work to. I think it's fabulous. Um, 
This was a dress that I got from Forever 21, like literally a million years ago when I was 15. I got it in New York City for like 10 or 20 bucks. And I wore it to a few events. Like it was a little bit clingy, you know, it was okay, but I would never really choose to wear it to something. So I think it's cuter now. I'm obsessed with a bell sleeve right now. So I basically have taken every single dress slash maxi dress slash thing that I own and turn it into a crop top and a skirt but this one's is actually goes like down to the ground so that's new for me <laughs> does it need a slit um oh. <laughs> I forgot that was open excuse the mess and then if I want to it can still be like the fall dress or I can wear just the crop top with something else or do it like this. I love options. I love clothes that you can wear in multiple ways. For example, I can wear this top now with just a cute pair of pants. I mean, leopard print's right up my alley. It's like all I wear anyway. So just like that, I have the option to wear it like this. Um, these were just a pair, a full pair of jeans. I feel like this length of pants it's like highly underrated. I'm not really a shorts person. I've never found a pair of shorts that isn't like skin tight. <laughs> I'm looking for maybe, I should probably look for like men's jeans because I want them to be very loose. But the size of my bottom it is very hard to find a loose pair of jeans on me. Every single pair I own are skin tight. So it would be nice to find a pair of jeans that I could cut into like cut off shorts and they'd be loose. But right now that's not happening. So I don't really do shorts, but this is like a cute summer capri, yes? Something. Petal pushers. It's also super cute with this little crop top that I made from, guess what? Another maxi dress. So this just used to be like a regular maxi dress. Now it's like a maxi dress and a little crop top, which is so much cuter. And I can pull it up so it doesn't have to be like a crop top. You can do it as like a full dress if you're not feeling it. Options. You know how like summer beach dresses have those slips like on the inside of them? I've been cutting them out. I'm gonna see if I can make some cute tube tops, sarongs, something like that. So I ended up mixing up the scraps of the skirt slip to make this cute slash useless sarong and then I made this bodysuit into a cute strapless optional number. Strapless optional of course because you can take these adorable little shoulder straps out if you want a different more supported look. What do you think that could possibly turn into? If you guessed a crop top, you would be right. I kind of have a thing for crop tops. I feel like they just cut me in like a really good place. They emphasize the waist. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this dress used to be um, basically the same dress as this, but it was too tight. It wouldn't like fit over my hips. So I decided to cut up the sides. I cut the slip of it out to make that little slip skirt, but um, this, I just cut up both of the sides of the seams. So it's like a little peekaboo dress. I love this because you can wear this to the beach and if you're not ready to take off your cover up, you can still tan. You can like sit there, still get your tan on everywhere. That's important. <laughs> but then I also love, since I cut both sides, you can also like just tie them. Super fun, and cute. And then when you're ready to go, bam, dress. Where am I, an engineer? So smart. Not to mention it goes with this bathing suit like perfectly. Can you just get my dress? <laughs> so free. So all I did with that shirt was I just cut off the like lace top, which ended up making it like a big neck top. <laughs> now I just love like how it fits. It's super like casual, relaxed. You can wear it 
off of both shoulders. Now, like it used to tie up so you couldn't wear it in different ways, but yeah, I wear it like this, like this. I just made it much more like multifunctional. And all I did was cut it. <laughs> One of the pieces that I really love is customized this jean jacket. It's just like a plain jean jacket, no problem. But then, oh, sew an old necklace on it, an old rhinestone choker, if you will. It just gives it something like a little bit extra. That is all for today. I had a lot of fun making all these new pieces for my wardrobe. I think it's way better for the planet to update what you already have. Forget fast fashion, save your money. Thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to watch. Thank you for 400 subscribers. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, stay fierce, frugal, and fabulous, and we'll see you next time.